What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Alejandro's Engineered Lifestyle with me, Alejandro Mendoza. This is my KTM 890 Duke R, and today we're going to be continuing the build series with the Evotech Radiator Guard, as well as Evotech Frame Sliders. So I did purchase these at half off, and uh, I do share the method in the video that I just revealed on screen. Installation is going to be simple. We're going to get the bike up on stands and uh, install with a 13 mil and an impact gun. And these are in fact directional with insets for your axle nuts. Um, but other than that, super easy install. Opening up the radiator guard, we can see how well the packaging maintained the integrity of the guard as well as the attention to detail with packaging of multiple pieces. So it has kept it from marring and overall the machining here is awesome. Um, it is really very lightweight and overall I'm very pleased with it. In the small bag here you should have uh, spacers, some foam cutouts, as well as two three mils and two four mils. Getting started with our seven spacers, you're going to want to find the circular machined holes, which are a little bit um, interesting to find given the pattern of the rest of it, but overall um, not too bad. You're going to want to pinch and then push while using your nail on the other side to kind of leverage. Um, these spacers do fit very well and will in fact keep the radiator guard itself from damaging the radiator in the event of a rock impact. So next we'll draw our attention to the back um, and you'll see on the upper end you'll have an, two hooks on either end. These are going to be hooked around the radiator housing and that is where you're going to be using those foam inserts you see. So you're going to want to place your foam inserts on the very end of either hook. Try to wedge that adhesive into the corner. It doesn't stay all that well, admittedly. Um, but once you do get those properly aligned on the hooks, they should look pretty uniform and you're going to trim those down. So moving on to mounting, we're actually going to take a T30 or 8 mil to remove the lower radiator mounts and actually replace that with the 4 millimeter bolts that Evotech have included. You're going to want to attach the lower radiator guard frame here and it does look like it's kind of at an odd angle when you look at it um, from profile view but don't worry about that as uh, later on things will match up perfectly so moving on we're going to take our radiator guard and very carefully slide it in front of the radiator making um, special care not to damage the fins with those spacers you're also going to want to move the brake line ever so slightly out of the way while you're pushing up in order to fit the hooks around the upper housing of the radiator. So as you can see, it kind of clicks in place there and you're gonna want to seat those foam um, inserts with the hook around the upper radiator housing. So as you can see here, my trimming of the foam wasn't the best. However, the fitment is amazing. I mean, considering I just hooked this around, um, these holes are all lining up perfectly. You're going to want to take your 3 mil and snug up the radiator guard to the mounting bracket and that's all there is to it. Um, the machining is so exact here that you actually have a cutout for your coolant drain hose that you pull through the lower bracket there. So as you can see from some of this footage with the focus pulls here it just really highlights the level of machining that has gone into something so simple. but. Ultimately, it's just a beautiful execution, and for being at the price point it is, it's something that I recommend to all 890 owners as well. You really have no excuse not to protect your radiator from road damage, and I would say um, if you would use the affiliate link, it would really help the channel out. There you have it. Installation's complete. We have frame sliders, radiator guard, and actually if you look at the back, a tail tidy as well but that's another video. So for now, enjoy this teaser of content coming to the channel and take care guys. Thanks.